everybody to a beautiful, beautiful wellness Wednesday. So I want to check in before we get to talking about anything in this video. My beautiful question today to you guys is, how are you feeling? Mentally, emotionally, how are you feeling? Now that we got that out of the way, please put it in the comments how y'all feel, everybody who watches this video. Uh, right here, we're doing Fat Bunny Workout by the legendary Billy Blanks. If you don't know who that is, you're too young anyway to be watching my videos because it just makes no sense for you not to know who is Billy Blanks, okay? If you don't know, he actually, he actually do post on YouTube workout videos to help people lose weight, get in shape, and etc. Whatever. Maybe sometimes, you know, you just work out. Because we all don't work out. I mean, working out is not just, um, it's just not physical. It's actually mentally. It's physical. It's emotional. Because at the end of the day, when you go in a gym or if you work out at home or whatever the case may be, as long as you're moving and you're working out, when you're working out, you're releasing all of that negative energy from days or weeks or months prior or whatever may be happening in the 24 hours. It's a very fat, fresh refreshing or it's peaceful. When you in your zone, you in your zone. And people who work out at gyms or even if they work out at their own gym they made at home or if they work out at home, they understand what it is. You don't want to be bothered. Your phone is on do not disturb for the hour or 30 minutes or two hours, however long you work out. You want that peace. It's very relaxing. It's soothing. It's, it's, it's a different state. You understand me? So right here, I'm doing his fat burner workout. It is on YouTube, um, on his channel. And that's pretty much what I do. What I do, I put it on my TV. I turn the volume, the volume down because I did it so many times, so I kind of know it. I just go with his lips, and then I just keep doing a workout with him. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Right here, this is the kick, and then there's going to be another part that's going to be the end of it. I usually do about 15 to 20 minutes of his video, and then I go into the other things that I have at home to do. Sometimes it might be my waist, or it might be outside, or it might be my squats or whatever, but... I do it for almost like um, just my first 15, 20 minutes where I get that good sweat, get ready. Like, ah, let's get ready. Let's get into it. Right here, I'm doing 30 squats. I usually do 30. Sometimes I go a little bit over and it's 32 and 34. Right here, I think I did like 31 to 32. But it's always I have to hit 30. Um, As you can see, like I told you guys before, you're always going to see a dog or a cat in my video because I have five cats, three dogs. I'm thinking about getting another dog, but... Don't tell nobody. Um, yeah, and my new dog, my new puppy, I had got her at four weeks, saved her life because she shouldn't have been from her mother at four weeks. But we got her for four weeks. We, we got her at four weeks to save her life right here. She don't want me to be great. She barking at me. She touching me. She just don't want me to be great. She requires a lot of attention. But she actually turned nine weeks today, so she's doing amazing. She's growing great. And then her brother, like, I just don't want to see this at all. Like, I really don't care right now what mama doing. But she don't want me to be great. It is what it is. Um, right here, I'm going to give you guys a narrative of what's going on over here. Right here, I am outside with it. Because, yes, I do go outside. I do 30 minutes in, 30 minutes outside. Sometimes I do an hour inside of work, 30 minutes outside. But we get that working. Right here, we are doing what I call drills. Where I do some arm work slightly. Throw the weights. Then I run through these combs that I got off Amazon. And what I do is I run through the comb. Sometimes I run straight down. Sometimes I'm diagonal. Right here, we're just going diagonal through each comb. And then what we're going to do once we get to this last comb, which I think this is my red or orange. I don't know. I can't see. And once we get to this last comb, we're going to run over to this tree. And we're going to hit the battle ropes for a few seconds. And then we're going to do all over again four times. Uh, right here, as you can see, we hit the battle ropes. Yes, 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 yes. It's amazing. I love these right here. I'm kind of so used to them, so therefore, I'm very used to these, honestly. So, it's kind of light for me. It's easy for me. It's about 15, 20 pounds right here. We're going to do another round. This time, we're not going to use the dumbbells. This time, we're just going to go diagonal and go across all the way around. Uh, I want to say this probably about, hmm, I don't know. Six to ten feet. I'm not sure, but we always make a good line where it's a you know a nice amount of feet, and then we run around. When I say we, because my daughter she also do it, and you know right here we hit these ropes and bop, dot, 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 dot. we get it done every morning. I wake up about six thirty, and when I get up, I give me a nice quick shower, wash my face, do my face routine, brush my teeth, and yeah, and I get ready and we do this work and we done every morning by nine a.m. Right here, I'm going to do ten jumping jacks, and I'm still going to do another drill. 
Um, and yeah, the reason why I get up at 6 30 in the morning because I like to get up at 6 30, start working out by 7, be done by 8 45, um, 8 50 the latest because my daughter she has to um be in class. She's online still, like when the pandemic came, she never left from being online, so she's still online. So I always try to make it a reasonable time to get up at 6 30 so we can stay in shape, stay in tune. And by us getting up at 6 30, we're able to get up 6 30, start working out at 7, be done no later than 8 45, 8 50. She it only takes her 30 seconds to log on her laptop. She log on, she do her work. She's a junior now in high school, so she's great. Her grades is great, she's on track. So it worked perfect for our schedule. Um, right here, we're going to do our last round, which is round four. Well, I'm just really going to run from one comb to the next. Each round, if you notice, is not the same. They're similar, but they're not the same. The last round, I only have two cones up. We're going to go from one cone to the next cone. We're going to go come here to the battle ropes, and we're going to ba -ba 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 battle them up. You know what I mean? And that's going to be pretty much the last round. For this and to end the video with some nice simple sweet good love i want you guys to understand that battle ropes is my favorite so right here we're going to do two sets of battle ropes and yeah we just enjoying it i use nature a lot too with my workouts yes i use the tree the tree is perfectly fine you know so we use this rope we do our um battle ropes i usually do two to four rounds this set is going to be four two rounds tomorrow for a tone up Thursday, it will be four rounds of battle ropes. We don't do the cones tomorrow, but we will do four rounds of battle ropes after we do a lot of tone in and all that good stuff. And yeah, and after we do the four rounds of battle ropes, sometimes I do a little bit fun stuff. It's, it's a lot of things you could do with these battle ropes. It is a lot of things you could do with these battle ropes. And we're starting to learn more and more how much more we could do with these battle ropes. I appreciate everybody for y'all support. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for welcoming me back. See y'all tomorrow.